everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your kettlebell split circuit workout. So in this workout, we'll be using one kettlebell, and we will be working in split circuits one side at a time. So some things on the right, then on the left, all of it will strengthen and tone your entire body and also get your heart pumping for cardio. All you need for this workout is one kettlebell and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. Make sure that your kettlebell is out of the way. Roll through those shoulders, just out of the way where you're not gonna step on it while we're warming up. We'll keep the warm up short. We mostly just wanna get the blood flowing, get everything moving, big deep breath in. As always, get more of a warm up and cool down on your own if you can. Let's go ahead and roll through our backs. We're gonna go flat back down round it up so i'm going to be using a 10 pound kettlebell so my suggestion would be if you have a couple to keep both close by but also there may be some things since we're doing one side at a time where you have to go a little lighter but if you have a heavier kettlebell i'm going to give you options to use two hands as well don't worry let's take it here let's roll through our backs just a bit so the idea unilaterally is that we're working one side we're forced to stabilize we can't use momentum. We want one side to really work hard and then we go to the other side. All of it, we will start with one thing and then the other and then switch it to a compound move. So you guys know I like to do a lot of that. You always have the option to just stay with the upper or the lower and then we'll get some core in between. And it should also feel like cardio. Let's do hamstrings to the back. So I know that sounds a little confusing, but don't worry. And we're gonna take it with our circuits where we do 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. And then we put them together, same thing. Good, and then let's take it little toy soldier kicks. Take them out, straight legs. I'm gonna talk you through each circuit first while, and during that time you can grab a break, get water, jog it out, whatever you need to do. We'll start up top and then we'll take it down to the mat. Let's just do some little twist, open it up, reach across. We didn't do this in the beginning. Yeah, breathe and take it over. So I am the kettlebell I'm using is just a 10. Totally fine if you have heavier or lighter. Again, I'm gonna give you options. I am still getting strong after having my baby, even though it's been many months. I'm still working my way back up to using those heavier kettlebells. I will get there. Okay, so go ahead and march it out. So the first circuit we are going to do, bend your knees to get it, we are going to start with a side lunge, leaning into it. So you're gonna take that kettlebell in the opposite hand, lean into it here, flat back. So we'll do both sides of that. And then we're gonna take it into a staggered row, and then we'll put it together. So you guys have done this move before. We're just gonna for sure alternate throughout the whole time. So here we go. So opposite hand, stepping to the opposite side, lean into it right here, take it here. Down and up. Again, we're going 40 seconds. Breathe, that core is going in tight. Sometimes I like to have this hand out that helps keep me flat. Think of taking that kettlebell towards that foot so you really get low. Breathe and up here we go take it down and up 10 seconds right here breathe last three two one march it out tap it out we're gonna do the same thing other side so let's go ahead and switch it to that other side remember flat back really lean into it here Tap it out, you got about 10 more seconds. I know 20 seconds is gonna feel like a lot until we really need that breather after that compound movement. So here we go, other side, step into it here. Down and up, lean deep, breathe. Cross it over, bring it up, and breathe. Cross and up, use this hand if you want. Sit deep into that outer thigh and then really push out of it. That's why we love the side lunge. Bent leg, straight leg, you get a little stretch through that straight leg and then you get a lot of hips and glutes. Breathe, 10 seconds. And breathe, four, three, 
two, and one, tap it out. Okay, guys, so we are going to take it to a bend of a row. So I'm gonna stagger my feet just a bit, flat back down. I'm gonna have it in that opposite hand, and I'm just bringing it up right here. So core's in tight, one foot a little bit forward, staggered, flat back, 40 seconds. Here we go, breathe, bring it up, and breathe. Squeeze in that shoulder blade, let it drop all the way down. So I know this is when we can kind of catch our breath, maybe our heart rate got a little bit up on those side lunges, breathe, flat back. And don't worry, we're gonna get to rest our back for those 20 seconds in between, breathe, four, oh no, sorry, 10 more seconds. I was reading my clock wrong, right? Now we have four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way up. You got 20 seconds. Just tap it out, roll those shoulders, relax that back. I know we feel it a little bit in that lower back. That's okay, as long as we're not rounded because all of those muscles are connected. As long as it's not pain, if you're feeling the work there, that's okay too. Let's take it other side, stagger, flat back. Here we go, up and down. So I like to either have this hand out to keep my back flat, looks like this. Make sure that you're here and not here, guys. You'll feel it. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in that lower back, you need to bring your eyes up. It almost feels like you're arching your back, but you're not. But if you feel that back working, that's where we wanna be, up and down. And squeeze. Breathe. We got about 10 seconds right about now. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. We're gonna get a little bit of core work in between. And breathe. Last three, two, one. Relax. Okay, guys. So hold it at your chest. We're gonna do standing crunch. So we're here. Pull that core in tight. Knees to the chest as we're coming here. So pull the knees in. Ready, join me right here. Here we go. Bring it in. Everything right here. So our next two circuits after we get through this are we are going to put that side lunge and row together. That should get our heart rate up a little bit more for cardio. So our first set where we isolate one side unilaterally and then the other, those split circuits, and then our last circuit is gonna really get that heart pumping. Then we get a little breather and we take it to our next circuit, right? Breathe. Three, two, one. Okay, so take it in that first hand where you started and here's what it's gonna look like, guys. We're not starting yet, but lean into it, cross it over to that leg, row it up, finish your row, push out of it so nice and strong really sit deep into that hip flat back in the row you're hanging out in that lunge to finish the row ready here we go 40 seconds down row push it out you know this one down row watch my back here flat back really lean deep as much as you can get into that hip that kettlebell is almost touching the floor right here you can even touch the floor if you want and bring it up, down, breathe. There we go, and up. We got 10 seconds. Can we get a few more? I think we can. Last one right here. Good. Yeah, I had you go a couple seconds longer. That's okay. Tap it out, catch your breath, relax that back. We do all that on the other side, and then this circuit is done, right? Okay, so core is in tight. Remember, you're gonna cross it over here, lean deep, flat back, row it up, join me here. Here we go, down, up, and breathe. Down, up, watch my back. Here's what we're not doing, guys. We're not rounding here, flat. Use this hand if you want to. Breathe, and up, and breathe. We got about 10 seconds, here we go. As we're getting tired, we're gonna try not to get sloppy with it. Keep it going, three, last 
two. Yes, one more, I know. I made you go a little longer on this one too. Catch your breath. Awesome job, guys. Put that kettlebell to the side, and here are your options. So just like that standing crunch we did, let's make it a little more cardio here or here. Grab a sip of water first and then take it to that while I talk you through our next circuit. Sip of water, if you wanna take a real break, real rest, that's fine. Otherwise, keep it here. You can even jump it if you want a little more. Okay, next we're going to our regular lunge, right? So one here, one here. We're gonna take it, it's gonna be on that opposite side. Lunge it down, bring it up, so super basic. Then we're gonna stay on that side. We're gonna take it to a curl. So a little offset curl. I'm gonna give you an option if you need both hands. Then we'll flip it around, same thing here and here. Our core in between is we're gonna do a windmill into a side knee. So we'll do both sides. So a little bit longer this time, okay? All right, so go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna have my right foot forward, left hand with the kettlebell. It's up to you. Just pull that core in tight, roll those shoulders back, get as low as you can. Here we go. Drop it down, bring it up. So if you can, if it's comfortable, drop that knee to the floor, chest is lifted, 40 seconds. If you wanna have a little more arms, a little more core, you can hold that kettlebell right at your chest. It's up to you. Whatever feels good to you. I'm gonna angle so you can see me. Let's try here so you can see that. Or down by your side. It's up to you. Whatever feels best. Here we go. 10 seconds right here, core's in tight. So arms and core are working here, but you're probably feeling that leg a little more if it's down here. Last one, right here. Relax. Okay, so we're gonna keep that forward, keep it in that same left hand. That core's in tight. Watch me here, we're staying staggered. Curl up to here. So if you have like me, like a Fitbit or something, just be careful of that. Here we go. So it's up to you, curl. So in that rack position that we talk about, that's where you're getting that thumb to that collarbone. This is what we want. So a couple of options. You can keep it here if that feels good, if you have that strength. If you need a little extra, use that hand to give you a little help just right at the top. Totally fine to do that. Or two hands. That's okay too. I know this is a split circuit workout. I want you to use one side, but if you have a heavier kettlebell, I know a lot of you guys work at 20s, 25s, 30s, because you're super strong and I love it, totally fine to use both, because I know a lot of my videos, I just do a curl between two hands. Last one, and relax. Okay, so shake that out, stretch it out to the side, just little taps, and we're gonna turn to that other side. We're gonna get both of those from that other side. So again, you're starting with that lunge. We're here nice and tall, and we're gonna drop it down, ready. Here we go, down and up. Trying to get that knee to the floor, think 90 degrees, both legs, push into that front heel, and breathe, and up. There we go. If you want, you can hold it at the chest. It's up to you, or down low. Breathe, and up, and up, pull it in. We got 10 seconds, finish strong wherever you are, if it's at your chest or if it's down low to the ground. Nice and strong, heart should be pumping. We're gonna get a break from the heart rate with that curl. Last one right here, and rest. Okay, so you've got it in this hand. Stay staggered if you can. Core's in tight, so actually shake out those legs. You got a minute, you got 10 seconds. Design this so you can have a little breather in between. Here we go, stagger it, curl it up. Here we go, bring it up, drop it down. So coming up to that rack position, down by your side. So I want you to come all the way down by your side so you really lengthen, so you're getting strengthened and stretched. So those long, lean muscles. If you need that opposite hand, give you a little bit of help at the top. That's totally fine. Or if you need it between two hands, that works too. Breathe, right? Up and in, core is in tight. Everything is super steady. We're gonna get some windmills after this to get a little bit of core and cardio. And last one right here. 
and then we will put them together. Okay, guys, so shake it out. Stretch that thumb to the back. All right, so let's take it to that opposite side, that side we started with. So we're on that windmill. We're kind of going to stagger our feet. One is at a little bit more core is in tight. We're going to have low, start low. I'm going to give you the option. So watch me here. You're going to go down, bring it up. So we start with this. If that feels okay, it's totally fine to do that windmill with that top hand, bring it up reach it's a little bit more on the back so you pick where you want to be and take it slow you're gonna feel the core feel the cardio no matter where you are I'm gonna stay low I'm just gonna reach up this is why almost all my videos I give you this option of doing a low windmill or a high windmill can be a little tricky with that kettlebell up top even when you have great form if you're tired last one and breathe so here let's not get a break in between why not Let's just keep it here. Hold that kettlebell steady. We're just gonna get a little extra heart rate. If you need a break, take it. You got 10 more seconds. Breathe. Let's go ahead, switch it to that other side. Ready, here we go. I know I tricked you there, right? Bring it in. Woo! See what I mean? Even when you have good form, if you're tired, you gotta really concentrate. So you can be here or take it with that high. Take it up. Pull it in. Here we go. Breathe. And in. Down. And up. So it's up to you wherever you want to be. And breathe. Five seconds. And then we're going to keep that side knee. Here we go. And then guess what, guys? We're switching it back. We're going to go right in to that lunge with our curl. I know it's going to be a big heart rate push, but you're strong. You can do it. Breathe. Here we go. Switch it to that opposite hand. Lunge it down. Curl it at the top. Here we go. So you have all these options. Lunge and curl. One side. And curl. Looks like this. Or use that opposite hand if you need to. Or two hands. Down and up. You're still gonna feel it. We're still isolating one side of the leg more, right? Down and up. It's up to you. Whatever works best. One kettlebell all the way up through that core. Curl. Use that opposite hand. You got 10 seconds. Finish it strong. Heart should be pumping. You can do it. Last one. Relax. Tap it out. Turn to that other side. All right, guys. Same thing, other side. Then we get a breather. One more circuit up top, and then down on the mat. So core is in tight. So remember, you have all those options. Lunge it and curl it. Use that hand or two hands. Ready, here we go. Down and up. Pull it in. Down, up. And breathe. You got it. Use that opposite hand if you need to, or two hands. That works too. Or always just one or the other. You know you always have that option. <sighs> Lunge and curl. 10 seconds. How's that heart rate? I'm feeling mine. I hope you are too. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Drop that kettlebell out. Reach those hands back, little taps, and breathe. Let's go, side knees. So just what we did, this is your little cardio interval if you want it. Certainly grab a sip of water first, and then we'll come right back to that. You got one minute, team. Breathe. Here. There we go. So you stay there, watch me here. Our first one is going to be our swings. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with your regular kettlebell swing. If you've never done a swing, please check out my video. I will link it here that breaks it down for you. Otherwise, we'll start with a two arm swing. Second time through, we're going to take it with just one arm. That is optional. You can just keep a regular swing if you want. Then guys, 
we're going to do press and tries. I'm gonna give you the option of two. So up, behind the head, up and down. You can also just go up, behind the head, up and down. We're not gonna put them together. We're gonna do them separately two times through. All right, so starting with that swing together, roll those shoulders back. Here we go, hike it like a football. Three, two, power it up at the top. This is where, this is where we really love having that heavy kettlebell, right? Maybe I'll switch it out my second time. Lock it at the top, breathe. Remember, you're locking out two hands right here. I'm just showing you. Squeeze, just going chest level. We don't need to go over the head. No need for that American or CrossFit style kettlebell swing. You got 10 seconds. Core is in tight. Lock it out, lock it up. Four, three, two, one. Let it relax. Let your body stretch all the way through here. You can even pedal those feet in between and roll it up guys. All right, so watch me. You got a couple seconds. Press, tries. Looks like this from the side. Press, try behind the head. If you have a heavier kettlebell, take it here with me for two. Up, behind your head. And breathe. Up, behind your head. So you can do together, or if you've got a lighter one and you've got the strength, behind your head. Watch me here, I'm using this opposite hand. Up, behind, and breathe. Up, and down. Yes, triceps, 10 seconds. Ah! If you got a heavy kettlebell and you're not comfortable going behind your head with that, keep it with the two. Last one, breathe. Ah! I could tell I was getting tired, that elbow was going out, right? Let's do that on the other side. All right, guys, here we go. Core is in tight. If you need to, take it with both. Use what's best for you, because I know sometimes going behind that head, if you have a heavier one, feels like a lot, so it's up to you. Up, behind the head. This is what I do sometimes with my watch, my Fitbit. You can always turn it around. If that makes it a little easier. So again, guys, if you want two, Keep it nice and steady. Up, behind, and breathe. Here we go. Yes! I know, we got 10 seconds. Breathe. Core is in tight. Steady it with that opposite hand. Up, breathe. Last one! Yes! Ha, relax that out. Good guys, Whew. stretch it back, stretch it up over your head. All right, we're not gonna get core in between, we're gonna go right into those swings. It's up to you if you wanna do one arm or two. You can start with one and then, or start with two and then switch or vice versa, here we go. So, one side, bring it up. We're gonna get a set of our arms in between so we give our backs a little break. If you wanna be two hands, if you feel more comfortable with that, that's okay too. Breathe, shoulders back, lock it out at the top. Pull that core in tight. One hand if you can. So on that one hand, thumb goes to the back, pinky is up. Squeeze, 10 seconds. Breathe. Last four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Stretch your back, pedal those feet if you can. Here we go. Bring it up, one kettlebell between two hands. Here we go guys, one set of those arms, one set other side with our swing, then we're down on the mat, here we go. Up, over. If you want a little extra, push those hands into your kettlebell or do a couple on the right, couple on the left. Breathe, if you can. Up, I think we are pretty isolated on those first two sets for something smaller set of muscles, so we'll go together on this one. I know, it's a split circuit workout. Sometimes we break the rules, right? Breathe, 10 seconds, strong shoulders, strong tries. Then we got a few things on the mat after this last swing. Up, and relax. 
Okay, so other side with your swing. So again, if you're swinging, thumb is going towards the back, pinky up top. You can do it together if that feels better for you. If you can, let's keep it here. All right, ready. Here we go, hike it. Two, power it up. Squeeze, locking out of the top. Still going about chest level or below. Back loaded, so tighten in those hamstrings, tighten in those glutes, breathe. If you wanna take it to two, you can. We got 20 seconds, breathe. Here we go, up. 10 to go, core is in tight. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, drop it down, pedal those feet. Little stretch, roll it up. Grab us a quick sip of water, guys. Whew. Catch your breath, tap it out, and then we're going to take it down to the mats. Okay, so we are down on the mat. We're gonna take about a minute. I'm gonna talk you through our next circuit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a one-arm chest press. So you've got your kettlebell like this. So go ahead and go down. That's a little bit hard to grab, but if you can just take it like this, and we're doing a one-arm chest press. If you want to engage the core a little bit more, you can do it from that tabletop position, but it's tough to do. We're going to do that on each side, and then we're going to hold the kettlebell on one leg, have one leg either up or crossed over, and just do a one-sided bridge. Then when we put them together, we'll get a little core in between. We're going to do opposite side, opposite leg, right? It's going to be a little bit of balance work, which is going to work our core. We'll get some core in between and some cardio. Okay, so go ahead and grab that kettlebell. Go ahead and get in position again. You can have those feet down, or if you want, bring up to that tabletop position. We got 40 seconds, here we go. You're gonna feel why that is challenging for the core. And if that feels like too much, of course, you can take it two hands, just go straight at it. Changes it to a little bit of a close grip, that's okay. Even though those triceps and shoulders are tired, up and down. So it's gonna feel a little shaky. That's why this unilateral work really works. And breathe, especially with the kettlebell. So you got about 10 seconds. Get those feet are up for that core. Just make sure you're sitting nice and steady. Yes! Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch it over carefully to that other side. Go ahead and get in position. And we're gonna do the same thing. You can let that arm stretch out. We're gonna do the same thing from here again. You can just take it straight up from here or have those feet up if you wanna engage the core just in that very basic tabletop. Ready, here we go. Up and in, down and out. Core is in tight. Breathe. And up. There we go. Feet up if you want a little extra core. You'll see why that works. And sometimes when I do this, I put that opposite hand here so you can feel a little more steady. Feet down is totally fine too. 10 seconds to go. Here we go. Breathe. Yes, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so grab that kettlebell between two hands, but we're gonna rest it on one leg. So you decide which one you wanna start at. So we're here, opposite leg is up, or it can be crossed over. So it's gonna be a small bridge. You're not gonna have a lot of range of motion, and that's okay, bring that foot in, take it up, and drop it down. If you start to cramp or that feels like too much, you can do it without the kettlebell or between two legs, it's up to you. Lots of hamstrings and glutes, and we just did those swings, so I know you feel it. Up and down, or leg up and down. Breathe. Feels, looks like you're not doing as much because you can't get as high, right? But you really feel it in that glute. Bonus if you're crossing that leg over is you get a little bit of a hip stretch as well, which is kind of nice. Especially we'll need that on the other one. Up and down. 
three, two, and one. Good, switch it over. Go ahead and get a little stretch there, right? Lift that one up, Woo! right in that hip. And then we're gonna take it here. So we're here, guys. Cross it over, opposite leg, lift and lower. And again, join me here. If you want, you can do it without the kettlebell or two feet if that feels better, even though we just did that one. But if you can, kettlebell here. Breathe. Again, I know some of you guys are working with heavier kettlebells than me, so I totally understand if that feels like too much. You're gonna feel it without, or you'll feel it between two feet. We've worked hard so far. Let's finish it strong, right? Breathe. And up. Just about 10 seconds. This leg can be here, up and down. Squeeze right. Four, three, two. Relax it down. Good. Take it here. Woo. All right. So we are going to do a little opposing forces crunch. So if you want your basic level is here, push those hands into your legs, push those knees into your hands. Breathe, exhale, inhale, release, exhale. If you want a little more, take it over, everything in, or take those legs out, everything in. If you're postpartum like me, or if you've had ab separation, diastasis recti, or you're gonna feel it even just with that opposing force, everything in, pushing knees into hands, hands into knees. But if you want a little more, take it out. Push and push, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. Five seconds. And relax, hug those knees in. Okay guys, so watch me here. Grab that kettlebell. So you're gonna have it in that chest press and then whatever side the kettlebell is on, that leg is going up or crossing over. So opposite leg, one hand is doing the press, one hand is doing the bridge. Ready, here we go. And again, we can have that leg up and down. So it's gonna play with your balance. So really steady in that core. If it feels better, cross it here. You can always just do one or the other. If it feels like too much, breathe up and down. Halfway there. Finish it strong here. I know we're tired. Up down, three, 10 seconds, up, last one, Woo. and relax, cross that over, get a little stretch, right, ah, it's hard because we just did this one last, right, we switch it up, <sighs> switch it over to that other side, cross it over, leg can be up, or crossed over, you might wanna stay crossed over so you can get that stretch. Here we go, last time. If you wanna have that opposite hand out, that's gonna help give you a little bit of extra balance through that core. Focus on that core. This side is a little bit harder for me, there might be one. That leg can be here. Down and up. Up to you, halfway there. 20 seconds to go, finish it strong. Breathe. One arm press, one leg bridge. That's tough, that's a lot for your brain as well as your body. 10 seconds, less than. Three, two, one, relax it down. Woo, big stretch. Awesome guys, go ahead and turn it over. Let's come into a mountain climber position. Put that kettlebell in the center. Take it in that high plank if you can. Knees are tapping in. You don't have to actually tap that kettlebell. And then if you want, take it to that mountain climber. It depends on how much you want. You want more cardio? Take it up. If you wanna just keep it core, you'll still get that heart pumping. If you are postpartum like me, or you've had ab separation, just take it here. Just bring those knees forward in from the knee position. That is totally fine too. But if you can, here, breathe. Here too, it's up to you. We are almost done, team. I know I'm adding in a few little extras at the end. We'll do a few extra 
unilateral moves. Three, two, one, and stretch. Okay, move that kettlebell to the front. Side plank, very classic one-sided move. We love side planks. They're great for pregnancy and postpartum as well. We're here. Let's lift it up and hold. 40 seconds is a long time. I'm gonna give you some variances. So take it here, here we go. You can be here. You can be on the knees or cross it over or on the toes, cross it over. Hand can be up, hand can be down. We're just holding for the first half. It's up to you. I know those arms and shoulders are tired, so if you need a little extra support, just drop the knee. That's totally fine. So we're here, breathe, and then let's take it over, bring it up. Second half, we're here. You can do the same thing. Turn your body and breathe and up. 10 seconds and up. Same thing, other side. And then we are done. We did it. Breathe. Last one. Relax. Big stretch over. Yep. You can just swing those legs around to that other side. Here we go, team. We did a lot of work one side at a time. Let's finish it out right here. Up into that side plank. You can be up on your toes, knee down, both knees here, feet stacked, doesn't matter. Holding it here, make sure everything's in tight. Again, arms are tired. I know it, but think about that core. Pulling in nice and tight. Lift that hip off the ground. And then here we go, twist it down and up. Think about elbow coming towards the mat. Breathe. And up. If you need support, drop that knee. Finish it out. Last 10 seconds. Breathe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Relax. Big stretch over. Yes, you did it. Lean into that. Lean into this. Nice work, team. Ha. Ah right seated position take those thumbs to the back reach back grab them here there we go let your head drop to the side and then take that opposite hand whatever if you're leaning to the right take your left hand push those fingertips down so we stretch through the neck chest bicep Hard, right? Take it here, drop it down. Good. Let's take one leg out. Breathe that, fold it over into that. And lean over. Other side, take it here. we got a lot of glutes and hamstrings. Seated position, cross one leg over, start your legs out in front, and then just slowly bring that leg in, press the top knee down. Even just pulling your toe up, you're gonna get a nice, good hip stretch. As always, get more stretching on your own, guys, especially throughout your day as well. We wanna hold these stretches longer, really longer than we are, right? <laughs> Breathe into it. Other side, cross it here, start here, inch it in, press the knee down. You got it. And then one more time, let's take the chin to the chest, arms to the front. Did it. That was your kettlebell split 
circuit workouts. If you like these, be sure that you check out all of my other kettlebell videos and all the other video videos I have on the channel. Got lots of options for you. And don't forget to subscribe. Great job, everybody.